Hi Scorpio, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of March 12th through the 18th. This is for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Scorpio Rising signs. So Scorpio, for this reading I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck along with the Magical Times Empowerment cards. Okay, very interesting. At the bottom of the deck, I do have the Ten of Rods. Okay, so with the Ten of Rods, Scorpio, some of you might have a lot on your plate. Maybe some of you are working two jobs or working every day. So maybe needing to take it easy for some of you. Um, the Ten of Rods can represent you having like a lot of responsibilities, a lot of different demands this week, but you're, you're dealing with it. You're handling them. You're not dropping... You're not dropping them and it's only a temporary energy here so some of you could be very busy this week you just might have a lot on your plate for other Scorpios you know it can be kind of a burdensome stressful sort of energy but with that being said you know if something kind of weighing on you you're dealing with it you're dealing with it um, the overall energy interesting enough is the Empress so uh, some of you that I'm reading for today you could be a mom maybe you're a mom but you work full time. I mean, it could it could definitely be like a a little bit of a chaotic week for some of you. You know, maybe there's just a lot going on, you know, within the home. Um, but maybe there's other stuff going on. It could be with career as well. Some of you are definitely a mom. You're a mother. So uh, I feel like some of you just have a lot going on here. Uh, a few of you, let's see here. A few of you... You know, especially if you're a business owner, you know, um, you know, maybe there's a lot going on with your business. Your business is booming. There just could be a lot going on here. Um, but the Empress overall does represent abundance. She also can represent, you know, in this position, some of you are going to be incredibly creative. Um, you could be getting creative when it comes to like a particular matter. If something's been weighing on you, getting creative as far as maybe unburdening yourself or... Yeah, just moving forward in some way, um, the Empress can also represent you giving birth to something new. But, you know, if you're in the process, Scorpio, of giving birth to something new, it will be incredibly rewarding for you. And that could be financial, but that can be in other ways as well. Um, we're starting out with the moon. And so with the moon and the Empress here, definitely... You know, it could be a very creative week for, for some of you, getting creative um, as far as maybe moving forward with something. Uh, but the moon also likes to keep things hidden. So, you know, if you are in the process of manifesting something, you know, maybe there's a lot of uncertainty with this. There could be a lot of unknowns. Um, there could be confusion surrounding this as well. With the page of rods, I often see the page of rods as can be like a new exciting little adventure that you're going on, but also it can be, you know, news that's on its way. It's news that you're anticipating, something you've had to wait for, and you know it's coming in, but you don't know exactly when it's coming in. So I think that some of you are maybe waiting on some sort of news. It's in regards to a new beginning. And it's one that will be incredibly rewarding for you in many ways. Now, if this is on the relationship front, you know, it could be that some of you are waiting on hearing from a woman. Uh, that could be a possibility because underneath the page of rods, I do have the queen of pentacles. So, you know, maybe there's a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person that you're waiting on. Um... Now, what's interesting is because we have this Five of Swords here, with the Moon and the Five of Swords, you know, if this is a relationship matter for some of you, maybe one of you lied, um, you could be waiting to hear from the, from the other person and maybe there was a breakup, that could be a possibility. With the Five of Swords, it can be a more aggressive energy, it can be arguments that get out of hand, um, someone who isn't always nice um so watch your communication here definitely maybe you know someone hid something and that came to light uh it could be a possibility if this is a relationship matter 
there could have been some sort of conflicts or challenges with someone and and maybe you're waiting to hear from this person or maybe you're waiting to reach out to this person there is this healing energy here so you know if that's the case for some of you you definitely could be getting over this, you know, if there was something that transpired or it is transpiring here this week, you could be getting over this. And then for other, you know, for other Scorpios... You know, I view the I view the Empress, I view the Queen of Pentacles as obviously like the motherly figure. These women are very similar. So I think that some of you, um, especially those of you that are that are a mom, you know, maybe there's something going on with with a with a child. Um and maybe even maybe even like the the child's father because I do have the Empress, I do have the Emperor here in the spread, which can, can represent a couple, obviously. But, you know, the Emperor can be like the married man or the father or someone who was married. So for some of you, you know, maybe you're still with this person, maybe you're not. There could be something going on with the child here this week. You know, we have the Emperor, I have the Four of Pentacles here, which energetically speaking this can be for me someone who's a little closed off can be someone who's acting a little stubborn so there could be some Scorpios that you're dealing with a man who's a little stubborn you know a little set in his ways maybe he's the father of your children maybe he's your husband maybe he's your boss um and maybe you need to make a decision about this person. Again, if it is a relationship matter with judgment here, it can represent second chances. You know, you rising up from some sort of difficult period. So maybe there was lies, maybe there was conflicts, whatever it might have been. And you're maybe in the process of forgiving this person. Maybe giving them a second chance for some of you. Um... For others, if this is like your child's father, this could be you waiting on a decision from him. Could even be waiting on a, like a legal decision. Maybe you guys have like a custody thing that's that's ongoing. It could be something like that. With this Eight of Swords, try not to worry so much. This is that mental energy. So it's fear, it's anxiety, it's being stuck in your head too much. It's worrying unnecessarily. So definitely, um, you know, don't worry about this situation. Don't worry about this man. He just might be acting a little stubborn uh, for some of you. And with the Eight of Swords, again, worrying unnecessarily here. I feel like you definitely need to listen to your intuition here this week. Some of you definitely could be receiving messages. Really, really pay attention to the details, the signs, the signals from the universe that are that are taking place stay out of your head keep yourself balanced and listen to your intuition here this week definitely um it's definitely a very interesting reading it, you know I, I might be speaking to just you know a select group of scorpios you know a couple of different groups either something going on maybe with you know could be a man in your life this male in your life um could also be something with a child uh, you also could be in the process of maybe starting something new here and maybe you're waiting on hearing something maybe you've dealt with you know a challenging person or some challenging energies um, but if you can't resonate with this with this reading just please watch your other signs let me pull you an additional guidance card. Let's see, Scorpio, what else does Scorpio need to know? Please show me additional guidance for Scorpio. Interesting. So I have two cards. I want to take them both. We have confidence. Be bold. Rise up and stand tall. Feel the fire in your soul. Wow. 
So some of you definitely, you will be overcoming this energy here. The Eight of Swords can speak about a lack of confidence, um, but I feel like some of you, you're maybe hearing the call for action here. You're rising up from a, a difficult situation or dealing with a difficult person, definitely. So be bold, rise up, stand tall, and feel the fire in your soul. And then what's interesting is we have union. You have seen and unseen allies draw upon their strength, join forces with friends, and flourish. So I think that some of you, this is you needing to be bold with some sort of partner. There's a, there's a relationship uh, that's significant here. So some of you need to have confidence. Maybe some of you need to be bold when it comes to this, this union, this partnership. Absolutely. Um, for others, if you're dealing with a difficult person, a difficult situation, you have seen and unseen allies. So you have friends, you have, you know, support around you, people that you can turn to, um, join forces with friends and flourish. So ask for help here this week. Definitely. If you're dealing with like a stubborn person, um, and have confidence, be bold, you know, don't back down, listen to your intuition here, definitely this week, Scorpio, okay, so I hope that you found this reading helpful, if you are not subscribed to me here on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe, if you are interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttower.com, I do wish you all a wonderful week.